So I'm Dory, and I'm going to take about 12 minutes today, if that's okay, to tell you a super, super awesome story. It's a story about how I healed from chronic illness and disability. It's a story about how I can help you reverse your symptoms too. And it's a story about how God used you in my story. So I was a research scientist in the field of autoimmunity and environmental toxicology, big scrabble word, for 13 years when I decided to get my own autoimmune disease. And it's a kind of, you know, dumb decision, right? It was a rare condition called scleroderma. Over the next 10 years, I developed a total of seven autoimmune diseases. I was given no cure, no hope, and an average of only 10 years to live. Now, at the time I was diagnosed, I was raising my granddaughter by myself, and she was only three. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna cry while I was up here. <laughs> I had it always, all those years in the back of my mind, that I was not gonna live long enough to raise her, and I was all she had. So, if I died, she'd have to go into foster care alone. And that thought was, you know, really horrible to live with all those years. <laughs> but you see me standing here, that is not the end of my story. I got the biggest miracle in my life, and you guys were all part of it. One evening, I was in the middle of a really bad flare-up. I had been in this flare-up for about two weeks. I could barely get out of bed to go to the bathroom. And I was coming back from the bathroom, and I just said to Jesus, I just said, Lord, this really sucks. <laughs> and really, I mean, that's exactly what I said to him. I had that kind of relationship with him anyway. And, and I said, oh my gosh, I have accepted this disease. I know, I believe Romans 8.28 with all my heart. I know that you've got a plan in this i know there's a purpose in it and i know you're going to make it all work out for my good but right now this is really hard and i don't know how i'm going to keep doing this and i've got my janet to raise and so if i've missed anything if there's anything that i've missed please show me well i know that i'm talking to a christian audience here so I know that you guys are probably all going to believe this. A lot of people don't, but the truth is, and I'm just telling it like it is, I got back in the bed, I turned on the TV, and up popped a YouTube video. And the YouTube video said, my disease, scleroderma, and functional medicine. <laughs> and I went, <laughs> I said, functional medicine, okay, what is this? Okay, this is all just a bunch of funk. After all, you know, I'm a trained conventional scientist and my advisors taught me, oh, you never pay any attention to that natural stuff. Okay, that's not real science, right? And we always poo-pooed it and threw it out. But here's this video. Kept bugging me, bugging me, bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. So after about an hour, I finally said, all right, Am I supposed to watch this? Okay, I'll watch it. So I did. And you know how God just knows exactly how to speak to you, right? In this video was filled with studies in peer-reviewed scientific medical journals from the top researchers in the world from these little places like Harvard, right? And the Cleveland Clinic. And I went, holy moly. I said, Lord, did you just answer my prayer? Could it be true that there's really hope for me after all these years? I mean, I was so sick, I couldn't even get up to do the dishes hardly. I mean, I'd have to sit back down in the middle of doing the dishes because the pain was so bad, the exhaustion was so bad, and I'd just sit down and cry, all right? That's how bad I was. And I thought, uh, well, you know, maybe this, is great for other people that maybe haven't gone on for as long as I have, but it's probably not going to help me. But I still had that ray of hope, right? That first ray of hope that I had had in over 10 years. 
And so like a good little scientist, I completely geeked out. I mean, I really did. I just started studying everything I could get my hands on from my bed, from my chair, right? And what I learned was startling and amazing. And it's for you too, it's not just for me. I learned that now there are new ways of helping people with chronic illness. And I don't have, to I don't have time to tell you all the science here because I only got this short little 12 minutes. But it's really true. There are hundreds of thousands of people out there that have reversed their chronic illness and autoimmune disease. And there are people just like me and you. And I'm talking about hundreds of different kinds of illnesses, okay? Illnesses like heart disease, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, anxiety, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, okay? Even many forms of cancer are now curable. It's amazing. They're all reversible because of these new scientific discoveries. And sadly, a lot of doctors still don't know about them. But at the time, I thought to myself, okay, would it really work? So I started experimenting with the functional medicine protocols that I found in the scientific literature. And to my complete amazement, I started to feel better than I had in years. So they were really working. So I found a doctor to help me, a doctor that was trained in functional medicine. There's not a lot of them out there, but they're growing. And I got busy. And my first doctor put me on a 14-month protocol to, you know, just take care of some junk that was in there that needed to help me heal. And most of it wasn't covered by insurance. So I needed to find a way to pay for this. And I was living on social security disability and raising my granddaughter by myself. So, I mean, we had nothing, basically. But the one thing that I could still do for my chair is I could knit and crochet. So that's what I did. And I made these cute little hats. And now this is where God used you to play a huge role in my story. Because I just happened to make a hat for a lady who just happened to be friends with Cynthia, Cynthia Ogborn. And Cynthia called Susie, and soon Susie, Trisha, and Judy were all driving out to my house in Ramona to see me. And the next thing I knew, it didn't take very long before I had a check in my hand every month for $750. And I mean, this was almost half of my income at the time. So it made a huge, huge difference. I mean, I can't even begin to thank you all for how God used you to do this for me. Because it, it just made it so that I could breathe again, you know? And it paid for my treatments. It paid for all the supplements that I needed, and there was even a little bit left over to help buy like shoes for Jana, right? It's just, it's a beautiful thing. So, so about a year ago, something else really amazing happened to me. God showed me my ultimate purpose in life through all of this. So, have you ever had any of those crazy experiences like this, I don't know, I might be like one of the few ones, where you just knew that you knew that you knew that God was making a change in your life at that very moment. It was, um, it was overwhelming. It was totally overwhelming to me. I mean, I just started crying right away. And this is how it happened. One morning, and I, this is when I was starting to feel much better, right? <coughs> And I was praying and I said, well, Dave, well, how come you let me wait for so long? If you were just going to show me how to heal and you were going to show me this new science, I was already a scientist. How come you didn't show me? How come I had to suffer all those years? And that's when it just, I, I don't even, I can't even explain it really, but it just all happened immediately. And I knew in an instant that the answer was, he was preparing me for my ultimate purpose, to teach me how to help others how to heal. So he gave me this really weird geeky science brain that loves to research and study all the time, right? 
since I was a little kid and everybody thought I was weird and all the kids made fun of me, <laughs> right? He gave me my training. He gave me all those years of experience as a scientist in the exact field of study that I would need to be in in order to help people with this new science. He allowed me to then suffer and therefore to be able to really totally get it when other people have chronic illness and they're suffering. Like, you can't unless you've walked in those shoes, right? And then he finally, took him a while <laughs> in his own time though, he showed me how to heal so that I could help others how to heal. So, now, you see me here after two and a half years on my healing journey, I'm about 90% healed and I'm getting better every day. So the science of functional medicine literally saved my life. And that same day that God showed me my ultimate purpose, he also gave me the name of this new mission that I'm on. And now it's the name of my new business called True Wellness Today. And you guys were all a huge part of this. I don't know how I would have been able to even heal, been able to afford to heal without your help. So in the last couple of minutes that I have, I want to ask you a question. Have any of you been diagnosed with chronic illness or autoimmune disease? And if so, I'd like you to take a minute to just imagine your life, how different it would be, and all the things that you could do without your symptoms. And I'm here to give you the awesome news that chronic illness and autoimmune disease is reversible now. Not only that, it's preventable. But here's one more important piece of medical news that you need to know right now, and it might save your life. Scientists now know that most of those little nagging symptoms that we all have, even children have them, but, but as we get older, we seem to accrue more of them. They're, yeah, they're now known to be on the autoimmune disease spectrum. That means that those chronic symptoms are actually the very beginning stages of severe chronic illness and autoimmune disease that the CDC says that one in three people will suffer from and possibly die from. So, did you know that the top killers that are epidemic right now are heart disease, many cancers, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's? They're all they all have autoimmune components. It's true. Scientists now understand that autoimmune diseases are the number one killer in Western culture. And I need you to let that sink in for a minute. It's important that you get that. Scientists now understand that autoimmune diseases are the number one killer in Western culture. And one in three of us will have the symptoms and possibly go on to develop the disease if we don't do something about it. So, today, think about your symptoms. Think about where you might be on that autoimmune disease spectrum. And you can come talk to me and I can teach you how to take care of that and possibly prevent something like what happened to me happening to you.